Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're doing a little maintenance work on the charger. Figured I'd uh, shoot a little video on it. Uh, so, uh, we're due for an oil change. Uh, we got a couple... I'm just going through like the user's guide. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I have to do something. Cut! Okay, I guess my son's going to be out here for this one, so uh, that'll be fun. Okay. So, going through the I user's guide and... You are you going to be in my video? Are you going to be in my video? Okay. So pretty much I've, I've gone through everything at the 23,000 mile mark and pretty much the only thing that besides the oil change I need to do is to replace the air conditioner filter. So I picked one of those up. So I'm going to replace the, uh, the oil in the car. Uh, if you remember um, some videos back I added the Fumoto um, valve instead of my just a regular uh, oil um, you're plug. Too far away. Oh, too far away? Be in my, your video. Oh, you want to be right next to me? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how that went. Um, I haven't really looked since I changed the oil last uh, to mean, make sure I there's no leaks or anything like that. You have to be right. Look, that's too are you direct? Are you directing the video? I want to be in the video. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go underneath the car, and uh, we're going to take a look at the uh, the valve I installed, make sure it's not leaking, and then just show you how easy it is to change the oil now. Okay, we're underneath the car. There's the uh, the valve, and I've inspected it, and it's completely dry, so that's great news. There's not been any leak or anything like that, so, um, you know, the cool thing about this is I don't have to unthread that anymore. So let me just go ahead, and uh, there's a little safety clip here that I just took off and now I'm just gonna open the valve and let the oil flow. I mean it's just got to drain out. Uh, so sorry about that my memory card was full but uh, at least it showed I, I already watched the video at least I showed uh, the process. So the oil is draining right now. Um, I said before I don't think I was recording though that I have an oil change video if you haven't seen it. So this is not an oil change video per se. This is just a um, an update on the uh, the valve that I've uh, installed. So once the oil is done draining, I'll just shut the valve. Or once the oil is done draining, I'll replace the filter, shut the valve, fill it back up, and be done. So uh, a lot quicker. So um, and then we'll move on to the uh, AC or in cabin filter after that. So see you there. I'll show you. All right, quick change of plans. Um, while we're wait, while we're uh, waiting for the oil to drain out, I'm gonna go ahead and change that filter. Hey, so, bug. There's a bug. There's there, a yeah, bug. there's bugs in Florida, so that's just the way it is. So um, the filter is uh, behind this panel right here. So let's see if I can with one hand clip this. In. So at 20,000 miles. It's recommended you change this thing. I'm a 3,000 or so miles um, past. So this is uh, about as easy as I believe it gets. So there's the old one. It is out. You know, it's definitely dirty. So good idea to replace this. So it does say uh, rear of car and it has uh, an arrow, so you definitely want to follow the that. All right, buddy. I'm ready for it. Thank you. Let me have it. Okay, so I went ahead and ordered the OEM. It was like uh, 30 bucks. You can get cheaper. You can get cheaper ones if you want um, from um, third-party companies, but so uh, Rear of car. Let me just get that in here. Do not pay for the dealer to do this. All right, there it is. In done. And that oil is still dry. I don't know where I put the. Oh, here it is. The oil. The oil's still dripping? Mm -hmm. Alright, well, at least we saved five minutes by doing this now. 
All right, that's that. I just changed the uh, in cabin air filter, the AC filter. Um, that's done. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the oil, and then I'm going to. One last thing I'm gonna do today. Uh, if you remember, and if this is gonna show up in this lighting, I have this little uh, this is vinyl with the 392 and the flag um, on both sides. I took the other side off, and I'm gonna install another one. It's very similar. Um, I was gonna change it. I have both sides. I was gonna change both, but uh, my wife talked me into only doing one, so I'm gonna try just doing one. Uh, just to represent one of the, the car clubs I hang out with, I guess I'm a part of. I saw so. it. No flag. No flag? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no flag on the other side. I took it off. It's in pieces over here. So, yeah, so basically I'm just going to come over to this side and uh, put the new decal on, or the new vinyl on this side since it's currently naked. So, um, so when's the, when I'm finished with the oil change, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. All right, real quick, um, I got the oil drained out of the car. I'm just going to unthread my oil catch can. And, um, you know, it's been the entire oil change since my last oil change since I checked this. And uh, I just am curious how full this is if it's not overflowing. I really feel like I maybe should check this a while ago. Okay, not too bad. So, there it is. I don't know if you can see the. It's probably about halfway. So it's definitely catching stuff. I know this is a controversial thing to add to a car for some people. But, um. I mean. It definitely isn't hurting anything, so why not? If, if there's a chance it could help you, why would you not take it? So, anyway, I just wanted to show that. Okay, it's starting to lose the sun, but uh, I finished the window decal I was working on. Let me go ahead and show you that real quick. Come over here. And. See, it's pretty much similar as the origin, the uh, previous design from Lux. Um, but here's the uh, Tampa Mopar Society. And right now I'm just going to stick to this the one side and leave the Lux on the other side. But uh, check out Sinister Sinister Vinyl uh, made that. And um, they make a lot of other stuff. Um, Ford Charger, Challenger application, probably some more stuff. But uh, that's Sinister Vinyl. And he's, in it. he's local. So... Um, I think it's just SinisterVinyl.com, but check him out. I think he's also, definitely, he's also on Instagram, too. So I'll just put links at the bottom in the video description for Sinister, uh, if you're interested. Um, a lot of stuff similar to Lux, but way better prices. So, um, but, yeah. So today we went ahead and we changed the oil. We did the AC, or in-cabin air filter. We added that vinyl. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's what I had planned today. Uh, it was a good day. Got a little maintenance taken care of. The only thing left, maintenance-wise, for a while, I think, taking off in there, car, um, is I'm going to redo or I'm going to do the uh, uh, the differential, the rear differential uh, fluid. I'm going to go ahead and replace that. I've got 23,000 miles on the car. It says at 18 to inspect it. Um, I don't know what that means, really. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure what the dealer would do if they just take out the fill hole and like stick something in there and see how it looks, the color or whatever. I don't know. But I figure uh, for inspecting it at 18,000 and I'm 5,000 past that, I might as well just replace it. Um, yeah, that's, that oil's been in there since break-in, so I mean, it could be little particles of metal, metal shavings or whatever floating around in there from the break-in process. Just a good idea to get it all out. So look for that coming soon, uh, a video on that. And also, I'm thinking about uh, painting my calipers. So right now I just have the plain black six piston with the uh, the white Brembo. Thinking about painting them and I don't know, I mean, we've got the red 392 there. And, you know, we've got red here, red up there. Thinking about painting them red, but what do you guys think? I would be uh, more than interested in hearing your comments. 
And what method of application? Because, you know, there's that G2 company that has, like, the kind you paint, you, you brush it on. i um, seen plenty of other people sand them, uh, paint them with an aerosol or spray, and then clear them. There's a lot of prep work involved there. you got to tape the car off, uh, tape all the, other, all the other brake components up. I don't know if I want to go through that hassle. But anyway, leave a comment what color I should make my brakes. So, all right, see you. Uh, and also, uh, real quick, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, hotshot.hemi. And um, we'll see you real soon.